Hey guys, this is Terry. I'm going to be showing you how to do one of these little guys. A little paracord ring. Uh, I found out if you uh, just gut the paracord, it makes it easier for you to actually stitch it around your finger. Just go just like that. Just throw these guys away. You don't need them. Alright. I'll flatten this paracord out and then finish the ends here. And you be careful, this is very hot. I'm just gotten used to it. Alright, here's one flat piece. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take my ring off here so I can actually have some judgment space when I go to finish this off. Alright. So by just grabbing it with your thumb on your uh, index finger. Grab it around once. Overlap it. Bring it back around. We have that. I know I'm going to do is loosen this up. Let's see. Actually, no. Actually, no. I don't need to loosen that up yet. Then you bring it up parallel with this one. Pull that up. Then take your other end and just put it through. Alright, I'm going to rotate this around. Let's see. That pulled through. You pull that one up. Over. And then... Pull this one up. Just pull that over to there. Pull that up. Then feed this through that. There we go. Alright, I need to do this one more time. So just bring it off to one side. Pull this up. Pull that under it. And then just feed this right through it. Now before you slip and singe this, I'm going to move this a little bit into my actual ring. Pull this down that way, pull this up this way, I'm out here, and then just that. Alright. <clears throat> Whatever finger you're, you're going to be putting it on, size it first. It's a bit tight. I'm going to give some slack here. See if that will give you some slack. It does feel a little bit bigger now. Put down middle finger, and yeah, still a little tight. Now to snip and singe this, just snip and singe. Ain't that hard. Alright, so that's a little bit of trash. Now I used about a foot of this originally, just so I can weave it easier. Alrighty, let's have these two ends. I'm going to go ahead and Fuse these two ends together. This is probably the easiest part. Just take them and just touch them. Now I just do like that with it. Feel for any sharp edges. You just mut, mut them down a little bit just to make it smoother. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to adjust the size before I put it on. Okay. Do like that. Right your finger. Another way of doing it is just pinching it together to where it looks kind of like this. Like a little ball. No worry, you won't lose it as long as you keep an eye on that little thing right there. You won't lose it. Okay, I think. There we go. Beautiful. And that's basically it. I worried this guy because I lost some weight and the whip man, my wedding ring, will not stay on my finger now. So I got this thing, and if I need to resize it, I take whatever scrap I have available, and I just make a brand new one. I got me an orange one to go with my, well, this color here is called Savannah. I got that from my little link on Amazon, so I'll post that link below with everything else, uh, with my jig, my uh, shackles that I use, my fids, so you all know or to at least get something to help out. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching. Ho hope you enjoyed. Y'all have a good one.